it is just bog. Oh, Foxy, no! <laughs> Morning guys, welcome to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. I'm currently walking through the site towards my allotment plot. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> had a bit of a morning guys basically I am um, planned to come here I put on my little welly boots and um, they're from Barber I get quite a lot of questions about them they're like little ankle wellies um, really useful for popping down to the allotment and also doing like school run and stuff in and I put them on and the whole welly is coming away from the sole so it's like a massive hole in them and um, we were late for the school run so I've just whacked on some trainers and obviously yesterday it's been raining like biblic rain you know like like there's a flood kind of rain and uh, I'm now trying to navigate my way to my plot in the worst possible trainers but I have already ruined them because we went out the weekend and I stupidly wore them to the park this should be interesting oh god couldn't have happened any other day could it anyway I absolutely love those barber ones I loved them I'm gutted it's not ideal guys I'm not gonna lie it's not ideal it's so boggy oh god anyway I love those barber ones but I am looking for a bit of a god getting caught and everything a bit of a funky color now so if you have any like welly rec recommendations but not like tall ones I like the little ones that are like ankle boots so I can like walk on the street with them they need to have a bit of support um if you know any that you, you know you think I might like let me know because you guys know me quite well hi Einstein morning morning they like that little tree or shrub whatever it is they're always in there this is uh, an example of the amount of rain that we had yesterday. Absolutely crazy. Look, it's when I said it's like flood level rain. That's what I mean. Thankfully my plot doesn't tend to flood that much because I put loads of wood chip down and stuff. I sort of sorted that out. Um, it was a bit of a priority for me because I like to come down here, come rain or shine. You know me, I'm always here. I don't let the rain stop me. Right couple of jobs to do today very very excited lots of seeds lots of seed sowing I'm also going to get the sweet peas out so let's start with um all right okay yes all right we'll start with feeding Einstein because he's turned up <laughs> morning morning Einstein It's not for me, I'm not going to eat mealworms. But they do smell like peanut butter, so one day I might be tempted. It's not that cold today, it's quite mild. I might take off my jacket, yeah, I might do it, you know. It makes me feel more springy. I know it doesn't look that warm, but it is. It's slightly warmer than before. I'm just gonna have a little look around and see if any seeds that I've sown so far are actually coming up or germinating at all whatsoever. We've got carrots in, we've got spinach, beetroot. I can't see any green. That's concerning because new plants are usually green, you know, most likely they're green. So I say that cautiously because if I say new plants are always green, someone will say, except, you know, except this one. What's that? No, like seriously, what is that? What actually is that? Is that poo? It can't be poo. Is that slug? What is it? What is that? That's absolutely disgusting, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. It's like jelly. It's like gelatin. What is that? <gasps> Lovely. Lovely. I should warn you, actually. I should put an advance warning in front of these videos that if you're eating, be careful because this is a garden and a lot of things in the garden are quite disgusting. That being one of them. I don't even know what that is. Right, okay, that should be fun to lift up. Oh, I've just stood on it. Oh. Oh, 
Right, no sign of the, par the parsnips yet, that's fine, that's to be expected. No sign of the beetroot, but look over here. Look over here. We've got spinach germination, guys. This is spinach. This is spinach. Not only that, right, it's coming through the strolch. So when I strolch this whole thing, it was kind of in advance. Um, it's like an advanced protection against slugs and snails. But I was a little bit worried that the seedlings wouldn't be able to get through it because it's quite a thick layer. Obviously it can. Also, can you see now why, one of the reasons why we sow in rows? Because I can see immediately that that is not weeds, that is my spinach coming up in a perfect row. Um, so anything out the row like this, I immediately know that is a weed because it's not in my neat little row. I mean, it could be a rogue seed, but usually you can kind of see where your seedlings are coming up. That's quite an important thing. I had to learn that lesson quite quickly because I used to just scatter them and then I just didn't know what was what. Yes. What a fantastic start. We've got germination of the spinach, fantastic. So hopefully the beetroot and the parsnips will follow. Come on guys, I actually believe in you now though. I actually believe you will grow. So good, so fun, so happy. <laughs> oh, look at it now. I think it's poo, it must be poo. I think it's bird poo, oh, it's gross. beans oh my gosh look at these little babies coming up look at these little babies these are probably because the beans are quite big I think they're beans of course they're beans they're broad beans I'm just excited you can really see them all coming up this is amazing this is my first time sowing broad beans kind of properly directly into the ground and it's doing amazing I'm so happy I'm so happy I think I will cover it back up just for a little bit longer. That's mainly, that's not really about the cold because I think they can handle a bit of cold now. Um, it's because the fox keeps digging in it. So I'm going to cover it over again to stop him from doing his business in there. But how amazing. God, so nice like having you guys to share this with. I don't, I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't have a lot of people in my real life that I can kind of share my excitement with when like seeds grow. Like no one else would understand, like no one else would understand why I'm jumping up and down for joy at seeing my spinach seeds germinate or like while I'm like so excited to see broad beans germinate, you know, like no one else in my life understands that. People would sort of like clap me and go, oh, well done, well done. But you can see it in their eyes. They're not really into it. So it's my passion and that's one of the reasons I share on here because I know that you guys have got the passion of for it too and it's just nice to be able to share you know anyway next job of the day is to sow is to plant out my sweet peas so I purchased these from a garden center these are the lovely sweet peas and um, they are Spencer mixed so they are the scented ones not all sweet peas smell um, not all sweet peas are created equal. They don't all smell. So make sure you get one that is scented. Usually they've got a little sticker on them or something telling you if they're scented. Um, and these ones are, they're all lovely colors. Now, so ever since I've first grew sweet peas, I've always pinched them out. You pinch the top out down to the first leaves. So you just pull it out. And the idea is that it makes them bushier and it's the side shoots that produce the flowers. So the bushier the plant gets, the more flowers you get. However, this year I'm not going to do that. And it's not because I don't believe it, it's just because I've never not done it before. Sometimes I think in gardening we get quite caught up on like the rules and the way to do things and we sort of stop questioning why we're doing it and we kind of get wrapped up just doing the same thing year and year again because we just think that's the only way to do it. Do you know what I mean? So for me, this year is gonna be all about stepping back a little bit, looking at what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and start to question things a bit more and maybe try things another way. 
I just think we get a bit caught up doing things that we're told to do and how we're supposed to do it. So this year it's going to be about stripping it back a little bit, taking a step back and thinking, why do I do that? Who told me to do that? And have I ever tried another way? So we're not going to pinch them out this year. We're just going to whack them in and um, I'll show you what happens to them. We just won't get as many flowers. There we go. <laughs> Right, so it appears that old Foxy Woxy has been around here. I think because I put the new compost down, he gets a bit obsessed with it for some reason, or I don't know, wants to dig in it or something. But he's um, chewed off all of the kind of a lot of the twine that I put around the structure. It's one of my least favourite jobs is putting twine around it because it's so fiddly and stuff, but he's just taken a lot of it off. So the stuff at the top is sort of all right. But the stuff at the bottom is taken off so i'm gonna to have to put new new stuff in and that's concerning that fox has been here because what if he comes and digs again i don't think there's much i can do here because i can't protect it as such i can't put anything over them so we're just gonna to have to hope that he buggers off really oh foxy no <laughs> A, a difficult job doing that and planting those, not very enjoyable because they're so thin and long and gangly. My dad used to call me gangly when I was younger, now I know what he meant. That's how I feel about sweet peas, gangly. But they're in and they're looking pretty, they're looking pretty healthy in there. They're looking all right. I'm going to add a little bit more support because they're all flip-flopping all over the place. Um, I'm going to try and tie a couple of them in, like for this one for instance. He's already snapped. You little bugger, you've already snapped. You've literally just gone in the ground and you've had the audacity to snap already. Are you kidding me, Clive? You're a goner. Right, they're in. Excuse the cardboard here because that's supposed to be wood chip in the middle. A lot of the cardboard's come up which is a bit annoying but they're all tied in now. It's important to tie them in when they're little like this because they flip flop about and they can snap but when they get going they should be able to cling on themselves so you won't have to tie them in like throughout their entire life. Do you know what I mean? You see they've got, um, actually where's an example? You see this thing here? This. This is a tendril and it will cling on and wrap itself around stuff and that's how plants pull themselves up and sweet peas have got loads and loads of tendrils in fact they've got so many that you do have to start snipping them off when they get bigger because it stunts the flower growth but any plant that's got that really long green thin thing that kind of like spirals it can grow up that's why pumpkins can grow up because they've got tendrils as well anything it can cling on and pull itself up is a, an upward vertical plant um, potentially I don't know if you could grow them horizontally actually that's a good question thank you for asking um, I don't know if you could grow sweet peas horizontally that's something to try let me know if you do try that gone full Alan Partridge now let me know let me know if you've tried that now we need to protect them we need to protect them the only thing I can protect them from really is the slugs and snails so I've brought some strolch with me again having to bring it in bits um, my last video on strolch cut off but strolch is basically like a wet straw like material that you put around your plants there's a couple of reasons why I love strolch Firstly, in my garden, it's pretty good at um, deterring slugs and snails. It's a very good protection. But secondly, it's very good at retaining moisture. So I've watered my sweet peas really well now and putting a big thick layer of this around is gonna retain all that water. So that's good. I mean, not that we need it right now because of the amount of rain that we've had, but we get a dry period. My plants are gonna be swimming. <laughs>
Right, I actually don't have that long here today because I've got a lot of work to do today. Um, and that took me a lot longer than I anticipated. It always does doing that sort of thing. But I did want to, I did just have an idea. I did just have an idea. My idea is nasturtium seeds. I brought these with me to sow somewhere. Why don't I put those around the archway as well? Let's do it. Let's just do it. I don't know if they will grow up the archway, especially these ones. These are a different colour. They're not your typical ones. And I think these can be a little bit smaller, I think. Um, but I think they'll look nice all around the outside if they grow. So, because we've got a lot of sort of dead space, because I didn't put that in the centre. Anyone with OCD, look away now, because... For whatever reason, I have not put that in the centre of the bed. So, there's a lot of dead space around here. And I think these will go really nicely. We'll put them all around, I think. I don't think we'll make them go up the archway. I won't do that to you guys. But I think we'll just sew them. Oh god, that's three in there. That's three in there. Fine. There we go. Put one maybe at the front as well. Yeah, we'll just whack them all around, actually. Just all around. And then the other place that I really want the sturgeons is along the front here and here kind of spilling out onto the path so let's just whack them in here as well let's just do it no harm can come from whacking in seeds you know no harm sort of break up the soil bit because it's very boggy here oh it's not good soil it's so boggy but let's whack in some seeds anyway i'm gonna have to get so much new compost here I think it's too boggy for them, but who knows really, you know. Oh, I definitely know that is too boggy for you. You're gonna die. You're all gonna die. <laughs> You're all gonna die. Goodbye. 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 You're all gonna die. It is just bog. Look at that. Wet, horrible, boggy. Not good, not good, not good for pumpkins. This bit over here though has got horse manure and compost on it now. It needs a lot more, it needs, it needs a lot more and it's gonna need a lot of work over the next couple of years. Exactly the same with this side too. Just absolute bogginess. That is absolutely terrible, appalling soil. And then if you look behind it, this is the bag of compost and horse manure that's been on it. So much better. You know, that's what we need, that's what we're looking for, this. This is not. Okay, so keeping things positive, I'm really glad that I dug into that today because now I know how much work is required with this soil before I even attempt to put the pumpkins in it. Pumpkins will not like that. Okay, fine, we just need some more compost, some more horse manure. Maybe I might even need to dig it in if I want to put pumpkins in straight away this year. I've just noticed that some flowers are starting to bloom in my little um, what would I call this area? Like a wildlife planted area. Um, I've got some, if I step very carefully, I planted this whole area up with tulips, daffodils, crocus flowers, and look, they're starting to come up and they're starting to flower. It's amazing. Over here, look, I've got all the tulips coming up. And even over here, amazing. did have quite a few other seeds to sow today but I'm gonna leave it there today because it's getting a bit cold I've got other work to do and my head's not quite in it now because that job over there the sweet peas that took me ages <laughs> I'm, I'm massively underestimated how long it would take and how fiddly it would be as well so I'm a little bit like guard and doubt now I'm gonna leave the vlog there I hope you enjoyed it in my next vlog I'm going to be planting out my potatoes so look forward to that one and um, they're gonna be the early variety and I'm gonna be chipping my main crop potatoes. It's not going to be that exciting but it's exciting to get the next stage done. The early is going in, the main crop's going to be chitting. It's good, we're moving forward. Also got lots of brassicas to go out but I think I'm going to do that next week, I'm not sure. Cool, we've got lots of planting going in, it's a very exciting time of year. I hope you've enjoyed my vlog today. If you have, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you again in my next one. See you next time guys, thanks for watching. Bye!